All right, uh, hey, good day yesterday, good week. We need to finish up strong. Uh, plaques for last month, Tom Markin on Thank this you. side. I got Dakotas here, I got one coming for you. Y'all tied, Dakota one originally on gross. You hit a deal back out, so I don't have them. Rachel, I will get you one It's over there being made. I had these made. Try to get y'all as quick as I could. So uh, he had a deal fall out of finance. You'll give that to Dakota. I got two any, any, anyway. Hey, let's give my both of them a round of applause. Hey, we talked about uh, uh, discipline. We talked about attitude, actions, accountability. We got a lot of bonus units for people. They're going to be hitting their bonuses and stuff. We got a lot of units here that need to be sold okay so we got some bonus yeah good afternoon hey good morning i guess you probably had to go get gas in the bathroom yeah i did, I did. Was okay turn the light out in the bathroom oh <laughs> uh, bonuses here man we've got to focus on these we have not sold very many only three have been sold guys over here two of them have rolled uh dice uh josh got a good one and chandler and them split a, a, a good one so focus man we sit there and talk about our actions on what we're doing we talked the first week then we talked the, at the middle of the month hey where where are you at right now where are we at at that point in the month if i was a weekend i got three more weeks to go i should have been at a fourth of what i forecast was i there if i was ahead hey what was my work plan to sit there and stay ahead if i was behind hey what's my plan to catch back up if i was even Hey, what's my plan to get ahead? All right. We're awful, still awful few units on both sides of the street. So, hey, we've got to make that up, man. We got about 10 days left to, to go. And when you sit there and think about, guys, we, 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 we sit there and we come in these meetings. I mean, we, we hold these sales meeting and training every day to try to, try to drive points home, ways to make ourselves better at our craft. Uh, to make our customers experience better because if they have a better experience they're more likely to buy a vehicle from us and if they have a great experience they're more likely to send somebody else back in okay man everything we do we've talked about it before everything we do we sit there and it drives for a sale whether it's today tomorrow <laughs> next week or six months or six years from now Okay, everything we do is driven to get us closer to a sale down the road. Okay, and all we talk about creating good habits, we talk about making good decisions, we talk about discipline. We're gonna watch a little thing. Most people in here, I know you've probably heard of Nick Saban. Okay, <laughs> Lane, I think he did, he used to coach at Lane. <laughs> 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 Okay, pretty successful football coach, most people would say. All right, I want you to listen to this press conference and we're not going through the whole thing. It's only about two minute portion of it. Coach Saban hands out praises, not just in the Aflac commercials, but to his team. But he also holds them accountable. This is after last week, they beat Mercer 48 to 14. Okay, Coach Saban, he pointed out some of the good things they did, and then he pointed out their deficiencies and, oh, oh, and what they have to do. Man, you're talking about four, most of their guys are four or five star athletes that coming out of high school. I mean, they take the cream of the crop, they get just about anybody that they, that they want. So these guys are, are, are the stars. Okay, they're like the 20 car a month guys coming out of high school. So it's easy to sit there and say, hey. Hey. Did you get the meow mix to them? <laughs> okay. These guys are the 20 car a month guys. So man, it's sitting there saying, hey man, just do what you want to do. I want you to l l listen to what Coach Saban says here about his team about how he grew up. All right, it's gonna be about two minutes long and, that, and that's it. 
but pay attention to what he's talking about because this hits home not only what we do here and this hits home with what you do in your personal life and everything else okay so here let's take a Well, you know, these are all choices and decisions that players make. You know, they have, they make a decision to throw their helmet. Uh, they make a decision to grab and throw another guy on the ground, whether it's controlling your emotions, uh, because when you're emotional, you make bad decisions. All right, so you got to play with intensity, but not out of the control. And we got to make better choices and decisions. Just, you know, your question would be like somebody asking me, how are you going to get this guy to quit swinging at balls over his head in baseball? It's a bad decision. It's a bad choice. Uh, you can tell them, you can show them, you can tell them, you can show them. And eventually you play somebody else in their place uh, because they're not dependable. You know, it's accountability. I have a job to do. You know, I told the story today. You know, maybe we need more of this. You know, when I was growing up, I worked for my dad. All right, so every day at dinner, all right, he would do that to the table. And there was a reckoning, a reckoning for everything that you were supposed to do that day. So if you're supposed to cut the grass, did you sweep the walk? Did you trim? Did you put the mower away? Did you clean the mower? And if you didn't do any of those things right, you're going to do it again. We might need a little of that somewhere along the line. Yeah, we're going to finish up with Charlie on too. Click that back on. When I said it was quick, guys, think about what he just said. He's talking about, man, we sit there and talk about it. Okay? Man, we give you the tools. Man, we sit there and talk about it. Hey, are we going to take to heart what we sit there and talk about? Are we going to sit there, man, am I doing my task? Okay? Am I doing a road to a sale? Do I have that enthusiasm when I start talking to somebody? Do I make sure I get up and go take a T.O.? Okay? Do I end with questions? Okay? Man, we sit there and talk about it. Man, he sits there and talks about it. He's got four and five star athletes. Guys that was the stud at school. Okay? They were the man at their high school. And they're a number there. Okay? Man, we give you the tools. Okay, it's up to us to have the discipline, okay, to create good habits, to not make decisions. That's the reason we go over all this, because how much do we remember each, each time? 2%. 2 That's the reason we keep trying to drive the point home. And at some point, you got to be accountable to yourself and to your teammates and say, hey, am I going to do this? Am I going to pay the price? Am I going to develop the good habits? Am I going to make myself better? Okay? He just won 48 to 14. Yeah, he beat Mercer and should have probably beat him 70 to nothing. Okay? But he's using it as a learning and teaching tool to his team. Hey, we didn't play up to our potential. Man, you may sell 12 cars, but if your potential is 16 or 18 cars, you're selling yourself short. You're selling your team short. You're selling your family short. Think about that, man. He's using an off week. Okay, they didn't play as well as they should have. Okay, you can go listen to him talk about penalties and everything else. He can be a little grumpy. But the guy's on target. Man, it's discipline. Man, play with intensity. What we talk about attitude. Man, when somebody comes on the lot, are we ready to go? When I come into business, regardless of what's happening, man, bam, am I ready to go? Am I ready to say, welcome to Golden Circle 4 to that first person that walks in, got a smile on my face, good firm handshake? Hey, am I ready to try to do business? Or am I here? Holy oh, man, man, I gotta get up here, I gotta get a meeting, I gotta have a cup of coffee, let me finish having a biscuit. We'll get through that meeting. Oh man, let me see, I guess I'll walk the inventory after that. You know, it'll be about, man, and I'll start thinking about lunch, and then it'll be 10.30, 10.45. I'll start seeing who's ready to go. Man, they know they're going to ask me about posting. <laughs> okay? Guys, we laugh about it. How many days, days do we go through that? Okay? you got to ask yourself that. 
Okay? Man, this cat right here has won seven seven national championships, I think. Okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay? Seven national championships. He ain't resting on his laurels. It's just he said, man, I got a job to do. He's accountable for what happens on the field. He can't he can't throw a touchdown pass. He can't catch it. He can't run. He can't make a tackle. He can't make an intercept. He can't do anything on that field. All he can dictate is the preparation. That's just like this. Man, we can dictate the preparation, but man, do we are we ready? Okay? And man, that's the reason we talk about it all the time. To developing these great habits. Okay, to de de developing the discipline to do the things every day that we're supposed to do. Because I'm telling you, guys, there's nobody in this room that can sit there and say, hey, man, we ain't come a long way since 2018. Your check's a little better now, isn't it, Rick? Okay. Rico? Okay. Guys, we're selling more cars. Man. Man. We are on the right path, but it's up to us to maintain the discipline and to continue to grow. Because to grow now, man, once you start getting up the hill, man, it gets a little tougher. It gets tougher to maintain. So listen to what Coach Saban is saying, okay? Guy's been successful. Discipline, make good decisions. And that's what we sit there and talk about, man. Am I doing the things during the day to make a good decision? It's easy to get emotional about things or anything else. Do you make good decisions when you're emotional? Think about anything that you've ever done. Has anybody in here ever made a bad decision when they're mad? I, I, okay. Y'all must be different from me, okay? I have. If you ask anybody, man, I step back a lot. Before I, before I make any decision. Okay? <laughs> Develop the good attitude. Okay? Good attitude. Discipline. Hey, come on, guys. Attitude. Discipline. Man, are we doing the things we're supposed to do every day? All right? For the guys that aren't, man, hey, your, your sales show it at the end of the month. Just a fact of life. It shows you over the life. They may not, you, hey, everybody can have a little slick spot. But if you look at the course of the last three months, last six months, last year, hey, where am I at? Where am I at? Am I a five star? Or am I just at the water cooler on the end of the bench? All right? Guys, we've had a great week. Had a great day yesterday. We got a lot of appointments today. It's going to be overcast. Weather should be great for us. Everything is lining up for the last 10 days for us to, to rock. All right? We just got to continue to make good decisions. All right? And have the discipline to do the right thing every day. If we do that, again, we will be successful very successful.